Hi there, Mitchell from Cherry Audio. Uh, we've had people ask us uh, quite a few times if it's possible to interface voltage modular with hardware modular systems. So uh, I've gone ahead and done exactly that. There are a couple ways you can accomplish it. Uh, in this particular case, I've done it using uh, Expert Sleeper's Silent Way plugin, um, but you don't necessarily have to use that. So the most important thing is that you have to have an audio interface that can pass DC voltages. And in reality, that's usually anything from Mark of the Unicorn. And there's some other ones that do it as well. The other way to accomplish it if you're using a Eurorack setup is that Expert Sleepers make some really cool dedicated modules that are essentially audio interfaces built into Eurorack modules with the intention that you'll use them for control voltages. I'm using, in my case, a rather old Mark the Unicorn 2408 setup, which I really just use for analog CVs. And then from there, they go up to this guy up here, this big mess up here of LEDs and switches and stuff, which are really just, it's just a glorified extension cable um, and quarter inch to eighth inch adapter for my Oberheim. But uh, let me uh, show you what I've done over here on the voltage side. I'm actually using uh, Silent Way and our plugin host. And if I open it up, here we can view editor, bring that over there. So this is Silent Way. If you're not familiar with it, it's a VST and AU plugin that's designed specifically for the purpose of transmitting control voltages. The thing that's really neat about it is that you can actually take a side chain in and feed an oscillator into it and over here you can see it you can do this calibration process wherein it actually it actually creates a curve of your oscillator now in my particular case um, you can see the curve is really straight because my oscillators are calibrated really well because I have a relatively new synthesizer but uh, it's a really nice feature if you're using an old wonky synth that doesn't have very good oscillator calibration, it basically means that it'll still play in tune. So let's check out the patch that I've made. Basically what's going on with this patch is I've made a totally conventional sequencer controlling voltage patch right here. And if I hit play, here it is. So that's that, and I can play with that and so forth. But what I've also done is I've taken audio in over here and I've plugged it into this channel, this mixer. Let me play with some stuff over here. So that's the modular set. So we go over to my modular over here. You can see I can uh, All right, so let's go over the patch. To begin with, we have the sequencer, and the sequencer obviously outputs CV and gate. We have a small problem because many plugin hosts doesn't accept CV inputs. So the way we get around that is we take the CV out of the 16 step sequencer and then we run them to a CV to MIDI module. So as you can see, the pitch over here is coming from the pitch on the 16 step sequencer. The gate is coming from the gate on the sequencer. And then the CV to MIDI converts it to MIDI, obviously. So here's my MIDI cable. And this is going into the input of the MIDI plugin host. And then from there, it goes into Silent Way. Silent Way does its thing and creates its uh, CVs. And then those CVs are output through the outputs down here. These outputs down here are carrying what would usually be audio signals, but in this case, they're CVs. And these go to the aux outs, which are routed in logic to physically go to my uh, Motu audio hardware. So here's voltage over here. And the outputs, you can see it's a multi-out instrument over here. I'm going to some auxes over here, and these are the voltage outputs, which are these guys over here. And then you can see I've got these routed in logic, output 9 and 10, and over here I've got 11 and 12, and so forth. This red one over here is a pitch CV. That's our main pitch CV. This green one is a gate. I'm not currently using it, but I would definitely use that if I was using my modular synths uh, hardware envelope generators. Uh, instead, I am using the envelope generators built into Silent Way, these guys over here. And this is our filter one over here. And this envelope generator is getting routed to the amplifier of the hardware modular. And so that corresponds to this one, it's the filter one. 
that one's our amplitude one. And you can see these go up here. And there's our red is pitch, gate, and our two envelope generators right here. Okay, moving up to the actual modular, here are those audio interface CVs coming out, and I use the same color cables to make it easy to understand. And this is gonna be, this red one is the pitch, and this is going to a malt on the modular, which is going to the oscillators. Sorry, poor camera work. And then the green one over here is going to another malt. And from there, actually, okay, this is the gate that I'm not using, but I would use it if I was using the built-in envelope generators. Uh, so, up here, going back here, we've got these blue and yellow ones up here, and these are uh, both going to the, the filter and the amplifier. That's right, the blue one is the envelope for, sorry, terrible camera work. <laughs> the blue one is going to the envelope for the filter, and here is my CD amount here. And then the yellow one over here is going to this control in on the VCA. So that's my amplifier. And again, I can turn down how much it affects it. So that's what's going on with the patch. I could actually use uh, voltages envelope generators as well. All I'd have to do is just take the uh, envelope outs over here and plug them into the appropriate uh, aux outs. Let's see. And now we'll take these envelope outs and it should work. The, uh, that's the hardware modular. And it works. So keep in mind that you could actually do this without silent way. All you'd have to do is just feed the sequencer pitch output to one of the aux outs up here and route it appropriately. The only caveat of doing it that way is you don't have that uh, that scaling thing that I talked about in Silent Way, which is a really neat feature. That said, I've actually done this without Silent Way with my .com, and because it's new and it has well-calibrated oscillators, it works fine. But Silent Way is a really cool thing. It gives you a lot of capabilities, and it's not very expensive. So either way, uh, you can do a whole lot of stuff, and obviously I'm just scratching the surface of what you can do, because if you bring your hardware sense back into voltage, there's a ton of stuff you could do, and the back and forth opportunities are endless.